Hey guys, this is Grawl. Uh, just a quick quick update here. Uh, <clears throat> um, I've had this on my mind for a little while now uh, to do a little bit of work on that ship, my Deep Space Explorer. Uh, and uh, well, I've gone ahead and done it tonight, so uh, I just wanted to uh, show, well, tell you guys what the small changes are and uh, show it to you uh, another w another reason why I decided to do it is because the ship has her earned it because <laughs> uh, the past couple of days I've been trying to uh, you know damage this ship as much as I could with all of my other ships including that little mongoose that's right here I sent four of them against this one and uh, I've used every other ship that I built I've been testing them against this one and uh, this one has come out victorious every time uh, it's been ripping my mongoose apart like crazy uh, and no matter how much damage I managed to do to this ship it was never completely dead uh, it could still fly and uh, yeah, th this thing here is a beast, and uh, it's earned the right to receive a little bit of love from its creator, <laughs> I guess. So, anyways, um, so let's go inside. First change you'll notice is that the text panels now show text. Uh, before that they didn't because when I built the ship the LCD screens did not exist um, this one here and uh, this one here did not exist this one was the only one available when I created the ship and these did not show text on the screen uh, you could you know put some text in it but then you'd have to press T while aiming at the screen in order to read whatever was written on it uh, but then when the LCD screen update came out uh, about a week after I built this ship uh, all of the text panels they, they kinda got convert, converted into uh, LCD screens and uh, you know, until tonight, all of these screens were just black, and uh, they were not saying anything. So I've gone ahead and uh, set them up to show the text that was already in them. Uh, only, you know, you couldn't see it unless you clicked on it. Now you can see it. So these two are the exception. These two are actually saying press T on the screen to read ship instructions. So you come here, you press T. Sometimes it will add a little T here, so you just backspace, delete it, and then you can read whatever's on it. The reason why it's not showing on the screen is because there's too much text here to display it on the screen. It would be so small that it would hurt your eyes to try and read it, so it's better this way. Same thing here, there's just way too much text to try and fit it all on the screen. And these are all instructions on how to use the ship's features. So, uh, actually, I'm just, yeah, I put two T's up here. That's one thing that does annoy me. Uh, if you don't want to add a T on the screen, you can just press K and then edit public text. No, actually, it's uh, edit private text, and then you'll see it. And it won't write T every time you open it here. So, uh, so that was one of the little updates I did. Uh, the text itself is not changed. None of the buttons have changed. The text is pretty much just telling you what the buttons do. So each screen tells you what the uh, button panel does. This one here is for this button panel. Um, I could not put a screen here on the wall. So I put it here, but it's same thing on the other side this one is for the button panel over here uh, another little change I did considering that this ship has defeated every other of my ships but it didn't have a name yet I decided to give it a name 
Uh, I called it Grey Wolf. Now it's not the name of the individual ship itself, it's the name of the model. Kind of like a car, every car model has a name. Like my own personal car is a Pontiac Sunfire. So it's a Sunfire made by Pontiac, so this is a Grey Wolf made by Crawl. <laughs> So, uh, if you are a proud owner of a Grey Wolf, then you can definitely give it whatever name you want, and this is going to be the name of the individual ship itself. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely earned the, the right to have a, uh, a model name or whatever. <laughs> it's, a, it's an undefeated champion up to this point. So, yeah, that's another little change I did. So it's Grey Wolf Deep Space Explorer instead of just saying Deep Space Exploration Ship. So, uh, and one last thing I did is I uh, gave it an upgrade to its gravity drive. Now, when I first built the ship, uh, if I pressed 3 right now, because 3 is, um, is the timer block that act activates the gravity drive, uh, before, if I press 3, uh, it would, you know, um, propel the ship forward for exactly 25 seconds. And within that 25 seconds, the ship would only gain 11.7 meters a second. So if you did that plus, you know, the power of the thrusters, in 25 seconds, it would uh, reach 54 meters a second, I believe. Now, uh, the gravity drive itself, with the little upgrade I gave it, uh, I think it reaches 46 meters a second. So it's a hell of a leap, you know, from 11 to 46. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a good upgrade. So I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So I'm going to press Z to yeah, turn off uh, dampeners. And then I'm going to press 3. Two seconds later, the gravity drive will... In, uh, activate and then 25 seconds later we'll see how fast we're going so we're already past the 11.7 mark which was uh, you know how fast it would have gone before after 25 seconds Objective complete. so now the gravity drive is turned off and we are now just gliding at 46.7 meters a second so that's a hell of an upgrade now we're gonna stop the ship and uh, we're gonna do it again but I'm going to be thrusting forward as well as using the gravity drive and we'll see how fast we can get in 25 seconds exactly. Now uh, I think the last time I did it I was a bit over 80, 80 something. So we're going to start thrusting forward and then press 3. As soon as it says objective complete, I'm going to release uh, the, uh, the forward key and we'll see how fast we're going. Okay, I may have released it a tiny bit too late, but we're at 86 meters a second right now. And uh, before that, you know, if I, I was using the gravity drive as well as the thrusters, I would have reached 52 or 54, if my memory is correct, uh, in 25 seconds, and now we've reached 86 meters a second. So. I guess uh, this is uh, like the sound block said, objective complete. 
it is a success. I have managed to upgrade the gravity drive on the ship. Uh, back when I built this ship, I did not really know where I was going with uh, gravity propulsion, and uh, you know, I managed to make it work. I managed to add a gravity drive on the ship, but I was definitely not going really fast. Uh, but every other ship I built after this one, uh, I've had a chance to play around with gravity again, and uh, I managed to. Uh, I learned a few things actually, and um, now I know a lot more where I'm going with this, so I managed to upgrade it. So uh, if you were a proud owner of a deep space exploration ship. I know I do have like 51 people who downloaded this ship so uh, I'm hoping that these little changes will make you happy and uh, I've shown you guys that pretty much every changes I've made so far so hopefully you're happy with the changes and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.